Hey, welcome to the VHF UHF channel. And this is tip number 30, I believe. And we're going to talk about how about using, you know, what do you use for VHF UHF? Do you use a software defined receiver and SDR? Or do you use a good old scanner radio of some sort that has, you know, VHF UHF ranges? Um, it all depends on what you like and what you do. Now, a software defined receiver's biggest positive point is the fact that it has a waterfall. So when you tune VHF UHF ranges, you could see signals around the frequency you're tuned to. It might actually show you some stuff, some activity of what's happening around the frequency, things you would have missed with a regular scanner radio that you know you only are uh, tuned to a specific frequency. Um, do you want portability? Portability will often put you into the, well, get yourself a, a scanner radio of some sort because you'll want to go around and, and, you know, a handheld scanner will be able to go wherever you want and listen to those signals. Do you like computers or not? Are you computer savvy? That also is uh, kind of interesting. It's not that it's super difficult. For example, the RSP1A here is not that difficult to tune around. But it, to, not to tune around, but to install, I'm sorry, um, the software and all. But still, you know, it requires a minimum of computer knowledge, uh, you know, where to download the software and how to install it and so on, tweaking the settings sometimes. Do you like to be in front of a computer screen also is another good question. So that all of that together puts yourself into the, should I buy an SDR or a regular handheld scanner? Now on the HF and um, shortwave, you know, shortwave, medium wave, and, and all of that, it's not clear cut. It's um, it, there's two camps: those that like software defined receivers, those that those that like regular radios, you know, with buttons. Of course, you'll see the same type of people on SDRs. You know, those that like regular radios and those that like software defined receivers. But there's one thing about SDRs that makes it sometimes maybe a little less appealing for VHF, UHF ranges. And it would be, does the SDR you're going to choose have a software that can actually give you scanning functionalities? Not all of them do. Um, also, remember that you are stuck with using a computer or a tablet to have it working. It kind of removes the portable side of using VHF, UHF um, stuff and, and actually um, and, and a great example that I have, I tune to satellites and they have Doppler shifts. Now you can actually set up the software with um, and, and a satellite tracker and follow the Doppler shift. But there are some satellites, for example, that have voice and these you gotta, you know, be fast and go and tune the different signals that appear. It's cool in an SDR because you see where the voice is happening, but it's I found it I find that it's more difficult to actually really tune well and fast to a frequency where somebody's talking, uh, where an, a regular radio with its you know tuning dial, tuning button, is or tuning knob is is easier to kind of follow some of these communications sometimes. So, you know, there's all sorts of things that you need to think about. One of the little tips that I would give anybody that just wants to dabble into SDRs and is into the VHF, UHF range, want to listen to scanner radio and stuff, well, you have a very, very cheap alternative to try it out. And it's one of those RTL dongles. So this one is the, uh, what is it called? The Easy, Easy Cap or something like that. This is... Um, ten dollars on, on on eBay not even there's seven or eight bucks and ten dollars with shipping these are made for digital TV but um, actually with a specific driver you can actually tune in the frequency ranges for VHF UHF if you want to try it out at least for ten bucks doesn't cost much and you'll see if you wanna or not uh, you know use these devices of course this will not perform it's kind of difficult to have it perform like a good old 
or great a, a good uh, scanner radio but um, of course there's these models like this is the RSP1A uh, from SDR Play this one is of course much more advanced and actually is very very good at tuning the VHF UHF range but I think it all comes down to what you want do you like the portable you want to be portable uh, yes you can be portable you know using a tablet like this for example and a dongle and that is a small package where you could actually tune around but is it uh, what you want and of course you know, we've got to remember the battery life of the devices uh, do you want it you know have a computer with you all the time when you tune this frequency ranges uh, these questions will have you answer do I want to have a regular good old scanner or a software defined radio um, to tune in the uh, scanner or the VHF UHF frequency ranges if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching and I'm sure you're gonna make a good choice